Whether you want to classify it as a dire wolf or a colossal dire wolf or a genetically modified gray wolf, that doesn't matter. The fact that they took 72,000 year old uh, DNA from a skull and 13,000 year old DNA from a tooth mapped it and built a nearly complete direwolf genome, select the genes that drove the core phenotypes of a direwolf, engineer it into a gray wolf cell, which for many don't know this, it is the closest living relative. It's not the closest relative, it's the closest living relative on the planet. And then to clone that, where you have a healthy birth of animals that exude phenotypes or physical attributes that are driven by genes that have been lost for 12,000 years, it's magic. And, it, and I feel it's like- It's a miracle. It, it's awesome. And so the only thing that I was sad about is I don't really care what people call it, but I, I think it's sad for the scientists that at, that at a minimum, I think people could have elevated the incredible work by the women and men at Colossal and our academic contributors to the project.